Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties, and we are celebrating the three-year anniversary of Texas Art and Soul. Let me take that back. We are celebrating the three-year anniversary of Paint Party Headquarters. So, oh, Bobby is excited. <laughs> we are opening the doors to new members. So if you want to be a part of Paint Party Headquarters, just go ahead and type or text the word join to the number we have ahead, or you can type join in here. So if you're already a Paint Party Headquarter member, go ahead and put hashtag PPHQ. I would love to give you a shout out. And as you come on, please let me know if you can see me, hear me, everything's good, I hope. Okay, great. So I'm gonna teach you a cactus. And here's really a, a cool thing that is about the cactus. We have so many people using this painting and already making money inside of Paint Party Headquarters with this painting. So I'm gonna teach you step-by-step step today the entire cactus. And then for those of y'all that join us, we only have the doors open for five days for Paint Party Headquarters. Hey guys, oh, I love seeing y'all's comments. Thank you, I'm gonna be giving away, you know I like to give, I'm a giver. So I'm gonna be giving away some of these as well. So I'll be watching for y'all's names coming up. And then also all of you that join are going to get this immediately. So as soon as you join Paint Party Headquarters, you're going to get our scripts and venue where we tell you exactly what to say for all of that. Hey Rebecca, hey guys, thank y'all for saying hi. Oh my gosh, so we're gonna show what to send to different venues, all of those things. You're gonna get this immediately. So if you have been waiting to join us, now's the time. Okay, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting and now I'll answer your questions and I have a couple of fun things to tell you about too. Okay, so what I'm using first is I'm gonna be using Seabreeze and a little bit of this darker turquoise, okay? So we have sea breeze as well as, oh, somebody got two parties. Who was that? Oh my gosh, Maria, congratulations. Tammy says, and jumping. <laughs> okay, so this one's peacock teal, and then I'm also using sea breeze, okay? Hey, Allie. And I'm going to just grab these two colors and just basically paint the entire canvas. Now, we have the tracers in Paint Party Headquarters for you. But um, I'm just going to freehand it for you. I'm just going to show you how to freehand it, but you can use the tracers, okay? So I'm just going to get this all on here. And so let me know how you are going, how you are doing today. Let me see. So I have Maria on. We have Karen. We have, let's see, who else is on? Is it Natalie? She says, I'm painting too, painting the camper. Oh my gosh, how many of you are painting right now? Oh, Francine says, joining. Yes, if you want to join... Paint Party Headquarters, like I said, we only open the doors a couple times a year. This is our three-year anniversary, and I am so excited because this will be the last time that we have it at 37 a month. When we open the doors again in September, we will have a, a higher price, and you won't be able to get in at this price. So if you've been thinking about Paint Party Headquarters, this is your time because we are going to be starting not only all the great stuff you're going to get, but we're going to be starting uh, meetings about getting you fall ready. Okay, so I want you to go from maybe just learning about this to actually teaching paint parties like several of y'all last week when you were doing your homework. Let me know in the comments if you did your homework. Oh, April says, I can't wait to join. You can join right now. So the doors are officially open. You can click the link in the description to join, or you can text the word join to us, or you can type the word join and we'll get you a link. But the link is in the description. Hey, Carrie. Hey, guys. Let's go ahead and give away a prize, and then I'm going to show you how to freehand this, okay? All right. So I got some turquoise on there, and I'm going to go ahead and pick somebody for the Starbucks card. Sarah Roberts, you are the winner of the first $10 Starbucks card, okay? Sarah Roberts, all you need to do is email support at texasartandsoul.com and then you're going to be able to get a $10 Starbucks. We'll mail it to you. Okay, guys, here we go. I am going to point this down a little bit so you can see a little bit more while... Oh, hold on, hold on. Are you there? I'm so sorry. Bobby, I think I need some tech help. Hold on. My husband's gonna help me. The whole thing flew down. I apologize. Very, very, oh my gosh, the whole thing flew, it like fell off. Hold on, let me get your comments. We're professionals here. Don't worry, we are, you're with professionals. It's okay. Uh -huh. The whole thing fell off. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
and, and I can't get the comments. It says swipe left to reveal. There they are. Oh, yep. Yes, we're going to get some. Yeah, we're going to get fall ready. Okay, don't hit the end button. That's the key. Don't worry. Everybody's okay. Can you pull it on? No, I was just moving it down so they could see. Well, I guess I was pulling on it. Pull it on. <laughs> but Beth's laughing at us. Oh, now you're turning. You're turning things. You're, there we go. you're making things happen over here. Oh, you oh. can't hit those buttons. Uh -oh. Did you break it? No. Y'all, it's all okay. Stephanie's laughing at us too. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Hold on. Oh no, Jeanette's having a dizzy spell. Come on, Bobby. Calm it down. We can't we can't mess. Okay, so is it is it tight? I need to put it down. Hey Brenda. I can loosen it. Okay, loosen it. Rhonda's laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stephanie, I think we need a blooper reel too. Yeah, I've already dropped the iPad in the paint. <laughs> so before this ever went live, we totally dropped the iPad in the paint too. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's perfect. Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kat. Um, I got these at um, Boot Barn. Boot Barn earrings. I love them. Um, okay, so is it on there tight? Yeah, I mean, as long as you don't yank it. But we like place it, we tighten it, and then you try to move it, and then it doesn't work. <laughs> so if I want to go back up to talk, you may have to loosen. It. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Bobby's here to it save was the too day. Loose, but I was doing the slow sag. <laughs> we had some slow sag. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's getting inappropriate. Boy. Cindy says, you knocked it over and then asked Bobby if he broke it. <laughs> hey, don't call me out. I, I see you, Cheryl. I see you, Cheryl. Oh, my gosh. This is so funny. Okay, I'm going to try to make it. <laughs> you just sloshed off. This is going south. <laughs> Linda says it's all good. We're gonna. I'm gonna compose myself real quick. Can we all take a quick breather? <laughs> Cause I have some cool stuff to tell you about. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Um, I love to see people who live in my world. <laughs> boot Barn cost me too much to walk in the door. Hey, Boot Barn has these earrings are so cute and um brand. It's like a Miranda Lambert brand. But um, I think I paid 18 for them, which um, it depends on if you like that or not. But I think it's definitely worth it. Okay, let's get back to business. Woo! Again, my name is Heidi. I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties. Maybe not necessarily how to tighten your camera. Okay, so we just, if you're just joining us, we just had a huge debacle. So if you want to watch it, it may or may not be funny to you. But it, it was... A little funny to me because I blame Bobby <laughs> and apparently it was my fault okay so I'm just kind of drying this for a second and what I wanted to do is just remind y'all today is the three-year anniversary of paint party headquarters so for all of you that have been with me I actually sent Oh my gosh, Tammy, that's funny. And for all of y'all that have been with me, I actually sent y'all a three-year anniversary gift. So we have some of y'all that have joined and have been with me for three years. And so you should have gotten a gift. I just put turquoise paint on my carpet. And you should have gotten a gift in the mail. For everyone else um, that is joining today, I just want to say we are so excited. We have the bonus that's coming in. Yeah, Karen, it is definitely take two. <laughs> Um, for those of y'all that are joining, and this, for all of y'all on PPHQ, hey, Patty, you already have access to all of this, okay? Um, Rhonda. <laughs> so all of y'all on PPHQ, if you're like, oh my gosh, I want that. Yes, you have access inside of PPHQ to this. Thank you, Gina. I know I'm so excited. And um, so we're opening the doors for just a few days. So all of y'all that join, you're going to immediately get access to this entire packet of scripts to get your paint parties booked, okay? So, um, and you'll have access to all the marketing and stuff that goes along with this. So we're gonna have access to this as well. All the step-by-step, -step, all of that, including well over a hundred of these paintings that have so much more with you. So you can just grab and go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a one-inch brush. Oh, Janine, I'm so happy. Happy anniversary for you being with us a year. Yeah, let us know if you already are in Paint Party Headquarters. And if you are wanting to join, let us know by just um, typing the word join. Um, or I want to know more. And then tonight, if you're like, ah, oh, this sounds cool, but I'm not really sure if it's for me. 
Tonight at 7 p.m., I'm gonna be live teaching a workshop, okay? And so if you're like, oh, this sounds cool, but I'm not really sure, make sure you join us for tonight's free workshop. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm painting. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. I'm gonna paint this white. And now, as you can see, this is still a little bit wet. I have my blow dryer, so I might hit it with a blow dryer. Blue, it's blue freaking out. Um, if I might hit it with a blow dryer for a second, but I'm just gonna kinda, kinda grab this on here. Now I'm gonna like be thinking about everything falling. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about all of it falling because of, um, oh my gosh. Thank y'all for bearing with me. Thank y'all for having a good sense of humor. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, Rhonda, this is my third day anniversary with you. That's awesome. Yeah, you're going to love it. It is It is really cool. I created Paint Party Headquarters out of a need, um, really for my own paint party business. So it was really created because there was nothing out there that I had at the time. You know, I've been teaching paint parties for 13 years and, um, and oh, and I just booked a paint party with this painting. So I have, um, oh, I don't want to move it. Hold on, let me show you. I'm going to actually show you all how to paint this painting tomorrow. Um, but this, um, I booked a paint party coming up in a couple weeks for this painting. So I know this is going to be a really popular one this summer. And you'll have access to it inside a paint party headquarters. Okay, so let me go ahead and just hit this with a blow dryer for just a second so my white will look really pretty okay so hold on one second Ugh. and then remember we only have paint party headquarters open until thursday at midnight so if you're wanting to use um all my designs stuff like you know i have every my, every single design that i do online or in person you have rights to use for only 37 dollars a month we actually are changing that price it'll never be this price again and um, because we have over three years of um, paintings for you marketing materials for you social media and trainings for you and so so much more so um so yeah we're, this will be the last time at that price one second we'll have this dried in no time question you said how do I choose what to teach and um, so I basically like try to get the best on-trend paintings created for you so that you can um you kind of know what is working and what's selling so um yeah I want the tiki bar one too I love this one and um, so I try to like test stuff for you get things ready and then um and then what we do is whenever you're in paint party headquarters we let you know which ones are really working as well as you know we have over 2,000 people in paint party headquarters and they're always sharing um like oh I you know like the cactus and um, one of our members Jesse she just shared a huge paint party she did with the cactus and everybody painted it different colors and it was so so much fun so for those of y'all that um, are joining today I know a lot of you um, joined today I just want to say welcome we're so excited and we actually have um, something kind of cool for all the the new members we're kind of like I want to um you know kind of this it's the first time I've ever done this kind of after hours um conversation where I can kind of get to know you more and you can get to know me more but um, basically, if you join, you're also going to get a link to a meeting at 6 p.m. tomorrow on Zoom with me. So I can kind of get to know you more and you can get to know me more and just kind of answer your, your questions right now. Because I know a lot of times people just really have like, oh my gosh, this is happening or I've booked a party and I need to, to know what to do right away. So I'm excited to offer that to y'all as well. Okay, let's see here. Um... Let's see, which painting works the best for, was it smoothness? Is that what you said? Which paint brand? Oh, paint brands, Mary. And um, paint brands, great question. So I love the uh, Deco Art Americana. 
um, this acrylic paint, but I also, before I started getting this kind, um, I started using the 50 cent paint from Walmart. So I just used the, the, craft, the craft barrel type um, paint from Walmart. Let's see, um, Angie says, where do we find examples of painting and pics to use in social media? Oh my gosh, so all of that is inside Paint Party Headquarters, all of it. So what's cool is um, tonight at 7 p.m., I'm gonna be doing a, um, a training where I'm gonna like go through so much to teach you, but I'm also going to be sharing every single thing that's in Paint Party Headquarters so you know what you're getting with your $37 a month. And like I said, this will be the last time. I'm just gonna kind of draw this out. And um, this will be the last time at that price. So if you've been interested or curious, um, this will be the time to go. And again, you don't, um, you know, if you're like on the fence and you're like, I'm not sure, whenever you sign up for this free training tonight, it'll say, you know, message me back. It'll say, email me back your um, your question. And if you email me back your question, I'm actually going to answer it live tonight for the training. So if you're like, I have a specific question, Heidi, and I need you to answer it. Um, well, tonight, after the training, I will be answering all of those questions that got sent to my email. So make sure you send that email. Okay, so I got a little bit too high on this. It's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it up. So I got a little bit too high. Hold on. Okay. So when you do the cactus, use the tracer because I got a little little too high on here. So I'm going to have to kind of, you know, bulk this up a little bit. No mistakes in art. Yeah, there's no mistakes in art. Bobby came to remind me that there's, <laughs> we can always fix stuff, okay? So I'm just using this one-inch brush. I'm using a dark green and I'm also using a lime green, okay? And I'm just kind of grabbing it and filling it in. So just grabbing it and filling it in. So for those of you that are on the fence about Paint Party Headquarters, tonight you're not gonna wanna miss this training. So it's at seven o'clock, seven o'clock central, and you can sign up, the link is in the description, or you can text workshop to my cell phone. So text the word workshop to my cell phone and then we will send you the information for you to sign up. And you literally can send back in that email because you need to go check your email, click on it. You can literally send me back a question and then I am going to, to say your name and then answer that question live, okay? That happens tonight, May 16th on Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central, okay? All right, who's coming tonight? I'm excited. I'm excited to see y'all tonight. That'll be so fun. And we had some Paint Party Headquarter members ask if they were allowed to come. Of course. Oh my gosh, yes, you can come. I would love to have you there. Um, you're more than welcome. Sometimes we just need a refresher. Sometimes we just, you know, wanna, wanna hang out with each other even more. So definitely, definitely. And I love whenever y'all come to you know, let me know. Just always put hashtag PPHQ so I know that you're there. Okay, so I'm just mixing these in so I have these greens. And again, I should have brought this down just a tad more. So please forgive me, I'm doing it live. <laughs> please forgive me. And we do have the tracers. So like when you do this for a paint party, you wanna have it traced out for your um, guest so that they don't accidentally go up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this and pull it and just get a really good coat on there. And then I'll show you how to make the table. All right, okay, let's pick another winner. Let's see, we have, um, Marina says, looking forward to finding out info to see if it's right for me. Very new to painting. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, if you're very, very new to painting, um, the great thing about joining Paint Party Headquarters is we have basically a, a state, we have stages. We have one through five. And these stages go from, you know, everything from the hopeful artist to the person who's brand new at painting to um, a money-making artist, which is stage five. So I take you from just starting to know how to paint all the way to 
starting to make money with your paint parties and beyond. So I'm really, really excited to share that with you because we've had people that, you know, just really got into this as a, as a hobby and then started going, oh my gosh, I could really teach this and make some extra money. You know, maybe have extra money for a vacation or Christmas or whatever the case is. Um, and then I know um, it's crazy because, you know, a lot of, a lot of, it depends on where you're at, but there's been a lot of people that, um, are going on vacation because they just need out, you know, whether it's a road trip or whatever. So, um, so I know a lot of people are, you know, spending that extra money to go places. So this is a fun way to make some extra money. And um, yeah, you can definitely use, um, graphite paper. Lisa says, Hey, Heidi. Um, and everyone, PPHQ sister. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> She's got her, her alma mater. Is that your, your football team? So cool. Oh, Rochelle, I'm so happy you're a part of Paint Party Headquarters. Welcome. We really, um, we really take it seriously when you join. Like we want to do a good job for you. Like I always say, I, I wake up to help you. Like I wake up and I go, what can I do to help you? That's what I'm really trying to do as I, um, as you know, Paint Party Headquarters, we just want to get you as much paintings and marketing and all of that as possible and to help you. Okay, let's go ahead and pick another person. And um, let's see, let's have Gina Moat. You are the winner of the next Starbucks gift card. If you will email support at texasartandsoul.com, I'll mail you one of these. And Gina says, I love when you go live here and show us how to fix a painting when you miss the aim of placement. We need to know how to calm people. Yeah, it's totally okay. Like I missed the aim of the placement, as you can see, but don't freak out. It's just paint. It's just paint. Okay, I'm going to grab a little purple because I want to add this with my blue. This is a purple rain. I'm just going to put a little bit in here with the blue, okay? And the reason why is I just want to make a table, but I don't want it to make it the exact color. So I'm just going to mix that. Look how fun that is. And then I'm just going to bring it down here. All right? And then all of y'all that are joining, remember, all of you in Paint Party Headquarters already have access to this, but all of y'all that are joining, you are going to get access to our, basically our, all of our scripts that we use to um, book our parties. So you're going to be able to have access to all of those. So, so excited to share that with you. So you can just grab it and go, which is so, so cool. Okay, so we're just going to bring this in, bring it down. Bring it around, and then maybe get a little bit of that darker blue in there, and we're just mixing it with this purple. We just want, a and that's the thing about painting the paintings. You know, you can like take a little bit of what I've done, and then you can make it into your own, or you can do it exactly as I have. So as long as you are a paying member, I had somebody the other day that said, "Oh my gosh, Heidi, can we use like your paintings exactly?" Oh, Marie, you just joined. Welcome. Let's all welcome Marie. I'm so happy to help you. Thank you for trusting me. Um, Sarah says, I used the script and had my first party booked within a few hours. Okay, Sarah, that is amazing. Congratulations. And here's the cool part. We're giving you a whole packet of scripts. An entire packet when you first join, you're going to get the entire packet of scripts on your next steps on contacting venues and what to say. So I'm telling you guys, we have done all the hard work for you so that you can just grab it and go. So I am so, so happy to, to teach you this. And that's the other thing too, when you get into Paint Party Headquarters, there's gonna be, um, we really encourage y'all to um, get to know each other, to, you know, we have a lot of PPHQ members that do meetups where they actually meet each other in person. So how cool is that? So, so I'm not, you know, I think it's so important that we like, you know, find people that are doing something that we love and that we're doing. And then it just makes that passion for it get even better, you know, because then you're talking with, with people who are doing the same thing as you. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a little bit of that purple. And again, anybody who's just joining in, we are celebrating the three-year anniversary of Paint Party Headquarters. So if you are already a member, please put hashtag PPHQ. If you are wanting to join, this is the last time we will ever have it at 37 a month. So if you have been wanting to get access to that, and like I said, 
one painter, not paint party, one painter a month would pay for that. So the marketing, the social media, the access to all of my paintings for online use and in-person use is, and for kids, all of it's ready to go. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Lydia is all ready for you. Hey, Lydia, I want to give you a Starbucks gift card. Lydia, you are the next winner. So if you want to email support at texasartandsoul.com, I want to mail you a Starbucks gift card. Okay, so we have this here. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my brushes. <laughs> now, I had for this, I actually had used kind of a, um, you can see here, I kind of had used a scraper, but I don't know for sure where my scraper is. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of use this brush and just add in some fun colors to this, okay? And here's the thing. Remember, you can get creative and change things up as you want, okay? So I'm gonna use a little bit of black, not a lot, just a little bit. I'm gonna dab it off, and I'm just gonna kind of add it on here. I just kind of want to rough it up. Okay, nothing major. I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of dab it off. Just want it to be a little bit more roughed up. Okay, a little bit there. All right, now I'm going to grab some gold. Have y'all ever used 24 karat gold? Oh, you're welcome, Lydia. Have y'all ever used 24 karat gold? I'm so, so excited. Um, oh yeah, there is a tracer, Kenya, for the cactus. So the tracer is inside Paint Party Headquarters. And um, whenever you join Paint Party Headquarters, you're going to have access to um, all the marketing materials for it, the supply list so you can literally print and put in your kits or your paint parties. And then we have a tracer and we also have it 16 by 20. And I think we're starting to do 11 by 17 if you want to do smaller ones. Um, so that you can pre-trace it with some graphite paper like this so that it's ready to go. You can see I've traced a lot of stuff on this one. So it's ready to go for your paint parties. We get it all ready for a huge, huge time saver. So um, that was one of my biggest struggles when I was teaching paint parties, was trying to work full time. How many of y'all work full time and you are teaching paint parties too? Oh good, Sarah, she bought the rose gold. That's awesome. Yeah, 11. we have 11 by 14 plus the 16 by 20. And um, tracers for you. So let me know in the comments, how many of y'all work full time and you are, um, oh, thank you. That's so sweet, Linda. Um, and you're trying to do paint parties, but you just need the next, you just need the next one, right? You just need the next thing. That was my biggest struggle was trying to find the time when I was exhausted from working full time and I was trying so hard to do, you know, my paint party business plus teach full time, all of those different things, right? And then I'm gonna use some of this gold and just kind of get some places on here. So I was working full time, trying to teach full time, you know, in my, my classroom, I was an art teacher and then I was trying to do my paint parties full time and I was just spent and I just needed the next, great design, right? You know, because here's the thing, you don't need, you know, a zillion paintings to have a successful paint party business. Those of you that are already doing paint parties, you know that if you have a couple of really great designs for the fall and Christmas season and summer, that's all you need um, to get, you know, a lot of business. So I'm excited to share that with you because I know how hard that is to try to do all that and then endlessly trying to come up with the next design that's going to make you money at your party. So what we like to do is we like to go, okay, for 37 a month, I'm gonna just create like crazy. I'm going to have, you know, marketing materials ready for you so you can almost grab and go. And then your paint parties are booked using our magic scripts that we have in here so that you can book your parties and then you can immediately start making some money. Um, Marty says, I retired and started my online craft business. Just rejoined Paint Party. Oh, welcome back. I'm so happy. We find that a lot of people, you know, if they if they come and they do leave, they, they do come back because they love it and they, they miss it. So I'm so happy you're back. That's the thing too, y'all. My designs can be used for your in 
your online stuff too. So if you're wanting to do an online paint party or you're wanting to sell art kits, you can do Facebook Lives with my paintings as long as you're a paying member. The only thing I ask is if you leave Paint Party Headquarters, which I hope you don't, but if you do, you can't still use my designs. That's not really, that's not really nice. So make sure as long as you're a paying member, you have access to my designs for as long as you want. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of this Royal Fuchsia, Royal Fuchsia, and a little bit of this lighter pink. And what I want to do is just put in some flowers here, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just right here, I just want a big flower kind of in this place. I'm just going to get the, the position of it. I'm going to go over it in a second. And again, you'll have a full tracer on this. So you won't have to try to freehand it, but I just want to just kind of freehand it to get it going. We were, we were too busy dropping our iPads and our phones and our paint to get this traced before I went live. <laughs> that was the problem. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, plus also did this online to paying people. Oh, that's wonderful. Who is that, Gina? Congratulations. I know, I so wish there would have been somebody out there offering this when I started teaching paint parties. Oh my gosh, that would have saved me so much time, headache, all of that, because I'm telling y'all, that's the biggest struggles when you're trying to work full time and you're doing something on the side, which I read an article the other day. It was crazy. The statistics of especially women who have a what we call a side hustle, right? Something they're doing on the side to make extra money for the family. The statistics were insane. I think it was like 60 plus percent. I need to go back. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to try to look that up and make sure that's right. Um, but the statistics of how many people have a side hustle um, with their full-time job was insane because so many people, like they're not getting paid enough at their, their full-time job. So they have to go out and find something else because they want to do extra things. And I thought, oh my gosh, that was crazy. How many people are doing stuff on the side? So I just wanted to um, to let you know that like if you're that person, it's you're not alone. There are a lot of people, especially now they call it the gig economy, right? The gig economy where people are are you know delivering food or they're and um, you know driving you know people to to airports or whatever the case is, like Uber and all that stuff. It's called gig economy. And it's just been booming the past few years. And so the same thing with paint parties, um, you know, people are, are getting creative and finding ways to be able to make extra money for their family. So I, um, I know a lot of you have gone from just doing this as like a side thing to now it being your full-time um, gig. So it's, it's crazy how you can take something that you love and, and when you do the right things and make it grow, there's some really cool things that happen. You know, if you didn't see um, one of my interviews last week with um, Liz, she was doing her in-person parties. They were going great. I'm just adding some little flowers to this. And then she um, decided to, you know, well, she didn't decide. The world decided. COVID happened. And she started um, doing online parties. And so she went from, you know, just her in-person parties to changing it up. She has done 50 or 60 online parties, I believe. And she sold over 500, 500 art kits. And so um, it's just insane. I was just so, so proud of her and happy for her. So I just love, love, love hearing those stories. Okay, so for those of y'all that are on here, let me know if you are a beginner painter or if you have been painting a long time and you've just been struggling to make money with it. Let me know which one you are. Like you could do a beginner, maybe you're new to this, maybe you are seasoned, but you just don't know how to take the next step. Um, a lot of times I find, you know, people who are fine artists and um, they struggle a little bit at first because we're not teaching fine art, we're teaching fun art, right? It's not, it's not um, real serious. So a lot of times people think, oh, I gotta be the best painter. I gotta be the best of this or that. And I'm like, no. 
You just have to have a passion. <laughs> Judy says, what are art kits? Art kits are whenever you can sell and just like maybe the, the design traced with the, the paints, the brushes, stuff like that. And then you don't have to, um, you actually don't teach it, you ship it, or if it's local, it's pickup. Um, okay, so we have beginner, beginner. Um, we have Judy, she says, I'm trying to make money. Um, hold on, it's going fast. Um, it's some of my crafts, very cool. Oh, and you're in Texas too. Um, Rosanna says, beginner, wall and ceilings only. <laughs> Tammy says, just booked four in-person parties. Tammy, you're a rock star. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I put two parties on the same day. So June 17th, I will be back to back paint parties. I like to do that because I can do like a kid's party in the day and then an adult party at night. Um, let's see. Stephanie says beginner in acrylics. Rita says beginner. Connie says just trying to find the courage to get to booking parties. Oh my gosh, Connie. Use our script. <laughs> then you'll book it. And then when you take action through fear, that's when the magic happens. Let's see. I previously painted, Pam says, but haven't in a while. Maria says, beginning to um, medium. I started PPHQ, but I had to stop. Just signed up again. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back, Maria. Happy to have you back. Brenda says, a struggling seasoned artist. Well, Brenda, I hope to get you out of that. Like I said, if you are on the fence about PPHQ, join us tonight at 7 p.m. Just you know, look at the, the comments or type the word workshop um, or text the word workshop to my phone number and we're gonna get you, um, we're gonna help answer so many questions. Linda says, I'm a beginner. Sherry's a beginner. Oh my gosh. We have had um, so many, so many people that just had a passion, a passion for painting and then, um, and then they turned it into their paint party business. Like I said, you do not have to be this, you know, fine artist to have a paint party business. I'm telling y'all. So my degree is in communication, which is basically a marketing degree. And that's why I love helping y'all so, so much is because I have found over the years, I'm just going to put a line here and I'm just going to add in some of these, um, big leaf looking things. But I have found over the years that the creatives and artists are really, really great at doing their craft or their painting, but they're not as great. And let me know if this is true for you. They're maybe not as great at the marketing side. And so this is where I love the marketing side just as much as I love the painting side. Because let me tell you a story. So years ago, I remember being on the phone with this elderly lady. She had to have been in her probably 80s. And it was back whenever, you know, I, I was able to still take phone calls and I was answering like my customer service stuff before um, before we had grown to where we are now. And, um, and I remember she was like, Heidi, she goes, I'm not trying to offend you. She goes, but you're really, you're not the best artist. And I said, I know I'm not the best artist. I was like, I was like, I never claimed to be the best artist. And, and I, I just let her talk. And she said, she said, you know, I have been in museums. I have been, um, I've had my stuff at the Capitol. And she started to just tell me all of these places she had had her art. And it was impressive. Like, so, so impressive. And, and she was like, I just don't understand. I don't understand how you are able to make a living with your painting, but I am not able to. And then again, she kind of went on to, I've been in museums, I've had this here, I've had that there. And she, you know, had this impressive resume. And I said, I said, ma'am, I was like, I am so sorry. I said, I, you know, the thing I want to tell you is I, I know what you've done, you know, is valuable. And what you've done is your accomplishments are amazing. And I said, you know, I have never claimed to be the best artist. I have never claimed to be um, teaching fine art. But I said, that's, that's the difference in what you're doing and what I'm doing. I'm teaching people to have, you know, to create an event and have fun and make something that we're passionate about. You know, maybe we're not the best painters, but we're really passionate about sharing God's love through art or sharing, you know, the way art heals, you know, the way art makes us feel and, and the way, you know, it can get us out of a bad time, right? And so I said, you know, it's really sad because if, you know, if, if money was just given based on talent, you know, that would be 
amazing, right? Um, but you have some of the, the most talented people in the world that have no idea. I'm just adding a little bit of light green. Um, you have some of the most talented people in the world that never, ever take time to learn how to market themselves. And I said, that's where I come in. That's where I help you because you can have, you can be the best painter. You can be the best doctor. You can be the best, you know, dentist. You can be the best, you know, think of a dentist and a chiropractor. Did they ever think they were going to have to like learn some marketing skills? They did it when they were going to college. You know, that's not one of the things that came up. Right. And then they have their own practice and they're like, oh, wait, like, we still got to market ourselves, right? You know, you hope people just drive by and stop, but you know, that you, that's not a long-term strategy. And so that's where I really have a heart for not only giving you designs that you know you can immediately use and make money, but also helping you understand that marketing yourself and your business is crucial. And it is totally okay to learn that skill. But we find that artists really, really struggle with that. And I, and I, I did too for a long, long time. Oh my gosh, so much time um, that I really struggled with that. And it really wasn't until, and I know some of y'all may have heard this story, but I, I just have to share it for those of you that are, that are new here. And um, it wasn't until I was teaching full time and one of my friends, I was doing paint parties full time, one of my friends asked for something, some kind of painting. I don't even remember what it was. And I stayed up till midnight because I didn't have any time. You know, how many of y'all give stuff away for free? Let me know in the comments if that's you. <laughs> oh, Lori, thank you so much. She says, I'm a seasoned painter, but I've learned so much about marketing from you. Yeah, I spend as much time painting as I do learning marketing so I can help y'all. And um, it is so, so important to your paint party business. Um, and I remember I stayed up till midnight. I took time away from my family. I was extremely exhausted. And then I proudly presented the things she had asked for to her the next day. And she had forgotten she asked me for it. And I thought, that's it. I am done doing free stuff. I am done. If it's taking time away from my family, I am charging. And so that really freed me up for like, okay, you know, if people are asking for stuff, and I'll say, okay, now, as, you know, especially if friends are asking for it, unless it's like a family member, like I just recently painted a sign for my cousin for her 50th because I wanted to, you know, because it was her 50th and I was like, yeah, I can do that for her. But if it's just, you know, people who are asking for stuff, which you will have, and I'm sure you have as being an artist, and you have people that go, oh, just do this. And because it's fun, right? We feel like we shouldn't. We, should, we feel like we shouldn't charge for it because it's fun. Well, you wouldn't dare go into a yoga studio to somebody who has practiced hours and hours of yoga to teach you and go, yeah, do that for free, right? It's not okay. And so, um, so now when people ask me, I go, okay, well, you know, I don't really have time to do it until this date. And I tell them a date. And then I say, if you're still interested, I can give you a quote on what it would cost. And now that I say that, now that I say that, it's, it's um, you know, usually they either come back and they do pay me or they're like, okay, and they forget about it. And Michelle says, I just painted a 16 by 20 canvas and she never paid me. I hate to ask her for money since she's my friend. So what I would do, uh, Michelle, I would chalk that one up to lesson learned. It's already happened. Let it go, right? And then what I would do is I would say in the future, when somebody asks you for something before you ever paint it, you get an invoice, you get paid. The same thing goes for paint parties. I teach you how to have a profit every party and I teach you to get prepaid before you ever show up for an event. And that is very, very important y'all because those of you that, and I've done this before, I'm saying all of this out of experience. And um, you know, those of you that have shown up hoping that people are gonna pay you at your event, that's when you start to get very bitter because people have great intentions, but I teach you how to get prepaid every time. So when you show up, that party's already paid for. They have already paid you. The money is in the account. I do recommend not spending the money except for, um, except for your supplies, but I recommend not spending it until after that party is done, just in case there was weather or anything and you had to refund it. 
Um, but I promise when you start treating your talent like a, a real business, I promise you, you're going to start getting paid like a real business. But when you don't respect yourself enough, and again, I'm saying this, please hear me. I am saying this from my own personal experience of giving everything away for free. But whenever you start treating it like a business, they're going to start treating it like a business. And I promise you, they're going to respect you and they're going to go, oh, okay, she charges for that. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, if it's taking time away from your family, your, you know, your, um, what's going on in your life, you need to be compensated for that. Now, I'm not saying like you can't ever give anything away for free. That's not what I'm saying. But I know you are, are probably a lot like me where we were giving everything away for free. <laughs> Let me know if that's you. I know that was me. I was like overkill, like to the point where it was embarrassing, <laughs> you know? So anyway, so those of y'all that are joining in, again, my name is Heidi Easley, the owner of Texas Art and Soul. And we are celebrating the three-year anniversary of Paint Party Headquarters. The doors are open, but only for a few days. So, again, if you want to get in at the price of $37, now is the time to join. The link is in the description. If you are still unsure and you want to join us tonight for, um, I'm going to be teaching you a bunch of really cool stuff, but I'm also going to be sharing all the details of what you get inside at PPHQ, I want you to either type the word workshop for this free event or text me the word workshop. And my phone number is in the co the comments, okay? Not the comments, I'm sorry. My phone number is in the description. Um, and basically tonight, I'm gonna teach you during this free live workshop, you're gonna discover a proven strategy to book and teach paint parties and make a profit every party even if, remember we just talked about this, even if you're not a fine artist, okay? It's not about, not about being a fine artist. So going back to that sweet old lady who, who her heart was just broken because she couldn't figure out like why she was so talented and in so many museums and, and all of these great things, right? And, and how she could not make money. And I just want y'all to, to learn and I'm going to be sharing so much Oh, thank you, Belinda. I love having you as a member. Thank you for being there. This is a six round, and then this is a liner brush, okay? So I'm kind of going back and forth between the six round and the liner brush. Now, I'm actually going to, let me see if I can grab, if this is going to be too thin or not. Sometimes, it depends. Let me go ahead and rinse this pink off. I want to do, right here, the lines. So sometimes a liner brush works better and sometimes a um, thin brush works better. It depends on your kind of um, ability. When I drink a lot of coffee, <laughs> when I drink a lot of coffee, um, I tend to shake and it gets too, too crazy. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, Sandy. <laughs> Yeah, I've been going back and forth on this for a few a few years now. Well, Sandy, I hope you are doing I hope you are doing great things. I really want y'all to have success. And um, okay, y'all, I'm gonna use the the liner brush, and I'm just gonna use some white paint, and then all I'm gonna do is just kind of grab this and just start to bring these lines down. Now I've only had one cup of coffee, so I'm not too too shaky. But still, sometimes it can get you. So you gotta, sometimes you gotta turn it upside down. Sometimes I find if you turn it upside down, use your pinky to grab. And remember, all of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, we have the tracers for you, the marketing pack, all of the good stuff you need for this painting to use right away. And many of y'all have already used this painting in your paint parties. To make money for those y'all that are just joining as soon as you join you have access to every single one of my designs to use for your paint parties and um, sometimes people ask can we join if we just want to learn to paint yes you can we have so many paintings for you but i do want to be very upfront and honest with you we talk a lot of paint party business <laughs> because it's all about me teaching you how to make money teaching paint parties online in person and with art kits Okay, so I'm just grabbing this and bringing it down, okay? 
And so if you're a brand new painter, I'm going to turn this over. Remember, remember, these are beginner painters that I use. These are beginner paintings that I use and PPHQ members use for beginners. Okay, so all the stuff that I teach you is on trend designs made for beginners. So when you follow my tutorials, you're going to be really surprised at how well, especially if you're a beginner, how well they'll turn out. Hey, honey. Hey. I have not dropped anything awesome. since you left last. Looking amazing. Now that you're here, if it falls, it's your fault. Right? Can we all blame Bobby? No. Never blame Bobby. <laughs> Let's just blame Bobby. <laughs> okay, so the other day, I was I was teaching the um, Eiffel Tower painting. And so I was doing something in the car later. And I was, like, playing with my hair for a second. Because I was like, why is it so, like, crusty on the bottom and I went like this and the whole all the tips of my painting was um pink <laughs> so when we were doing that Eiffel Tower painting I was doing this to talk and it was just like flailing around and all of the tips of my hair were totally pink <laughs> it was so funny I was like you know you're a painter when your hair all turns pink right that was the paintbrush do what your hair became the paint <laughs> Yeah, it definitely became the paintbrush. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm using the liner brush now, and I'm going to start adding in a bunch of, of just white lines. And this is where the paintings for your, um, your paint parties, for all of the people that come to your paint parties, start to come alive. So I'm just going to start grabbing this paint and just quickly making these little bitty squigglies, okay? Nothing major. And also, let us know in the comments if you've joined. Um, I know we have a lot of PPHQ um, people on here, and we would love to welcome you. So we are so excited. Oh, always paint all over me. <laughs> You're like me. I always I have it on my hand now. I'm sure I'll have it in my hair before the night's up. Okay, so I'm going to bring this and just do a couple little, couple little fun lines, okay? So it's just a line, just a little line coming out here. Nothing serious. Just little bitty fun lines. And then I'm going to do some dots too. What do they think that maybe you should, that you should add? Oh, that's a good idea. What do y'all think I should add to this? Do y'all have some like, like if you were going to do the cactus, what colors would you use? Oh my gosh, we have Pam that joined. And Tanya, welcome. Woo! Oh, Bobby's yelling. Oh my gosh. I get excited. <laughs> Bobby Shell, he's very excited, Pam. Very excited. More lives. Me and and Tanya. Oh, I know. We're so excited. I love seeing when y'all start to gain confidence in what you're doing. That's what makes it really, really cool. Yes. So cool. And um, let's see. Rochelle says, I bought an embossing tool from the Dollar Tree and added the line and the little dots, and it worked great. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Did y'all hear that for the dots? So cool. Yeah, and I'm just gonna add these in. Here's where like, you know, people kind of get a little bit nervous about their painting. Like, again, I actually put my, my cactus way up into the sky a little more than I was hoping to. And um, that you can always change it up. You know, it's just paint, you know? It's just paint, who cares? You can paint with your hair. You can paint with your hair. <laughs> You paint with your hair. Yes, you can. Just like I do all the time. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn this over again. Dip it. Use the back. I'm just going to start adding in some fun dots here. Little dots here. And then a few dots over here. Oh, let's see. I would add the smooth, the white. Oh, Giovanna, I'm so happy. Let's see. Um, smooth the white. I think I missed a little bit of that. Oh, <laughs> so blue is so cute. I'll post this picture when we're done. But um, sometimes he hangs out under my um, feet. <laughs> and right now he's hanging out in his little bed. It's, <laughs> is he like? It's like tilted. Oh, let's show him. Oh, okay, show him up here. Let's see. Okay, look what blue's doing. He's in the bed, like, right behind me. He's, like, tilted. And he's tilted. It's hilarious. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's, like, just chilling. He's like, what's up, people? I'm going to lay in my bed and maybe fall out. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. 
<laughs> Maybe not fall out. Okay, I'm just adding a few little dots. And scrape colors on. Oh, Tammy, I love him too. He's so sweet. Did y'all see him skateboard the other day? Ooh, some different colors to the pot. That's a great idea. I'm about to add some um, hearts to this pot too, which is going to make it kind of pop. Um, did y'all see Blue skateboard the other day? That was so funny. Oh my gosh. Pixies trained him to get on a skateboard. Um, it was so, so cute. And he actually, because he's getting a treat, so he tries to... Um, he tries to use his little paw. It's so, so funny. All right. Okay, so what else could you add to... Okay, so I'm about to do the hearts, and I'm going to show you an easy way to do the hearts. But what is something that would be interesting to add to the pot if you weren't a heart person like me? Okay? So let me know if there would be something more interesting that you could add to this pot to make it cool. Like I, I've thought too, instead of doing hearts, I could always do like a really cool stencil in there. And I've also thought about maybe like a name. And um, let's see, we have a crisscross, crisscross pattern. Oh, did you miss the blue? Okay, so if you go to, um, I posted it on Texas Art and Soul. So if you go to my Facebook page, um, I posted him skateboarding. So you'll have to see it. He is very talented. Very talented, that little sucker. Okay, all right, so I'm going to add a few more hearts here, and then I'm going to go, um, I'm going to pick a couple more winners for the Starbucks card. Um, oh, and if you're trying to re-watch this, if you share it to your own page, you can easily find it, okay? So, like, later you can watch it. So, I'm just going to add these in, like, a little triangle pattern, kind of in threes, like that. Ooh, a cheetah print. Great idea. Oh my gosh, that would be real cute. Especially if you did like a whole color scheme. You know, I've thought about this, like how cool would this be if we did it with um, a big sunflower and made it a fall themed cactus, you know? Like you could take this whole painting and turn it into a fall themed. It would be so, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use this little liner brush and um, polka dots. Um, Anne Marie says maybe make it a clay, um, like a clay pot. Um, a wavy pattern. That would be really fun. I'm going to bring this over here. And then we're going to share just a little bit about what is happening tonight. Um, also, I wanted to share with y'all. So we have had so many people in Paint Party Headquarters doing their paint parties, having so much fun doing them. And I wanted to share real quick, um, Janet, she had an in-person paint party and she says, I wanted to read this to you. She says, my in-person paint party went great. You guys were right. I didn't have to come up with stuff to talk about. It just flowed. Everyone was happy with their painting and one person switched it up and made a brown barn. Next, they said they want to do a lighthouse, so hopefully another party too. And she says, Karen, your grandfather's barn is getting lots of love here in Cincinnati. Thank you so much for the inspiration. And um, I wanted to share that with you because here's the cool part. Yes, I have a lot of paintings for you, but what is kind of really magical that I didn't think would, would happen when I created Paint Party Headquarters is how much y'all would help each other, <laughs> how much y'all would do stuff and, and share. So this is Karen's grandfather's barn that she took a picture of and she used for um she used inspiration from it and made it. So how cool is that? Um, okay, y'all, I'm going to share um, my favorite topping for this. And can anybody guess what my favorite topping for the painting is? Does anybody know? Oh, I love that, a gecko. How cool would that be? Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of white to this bottom part too. Gecko. And then I'm going to kind of share with you real quick what is happening tonight so that you can be a part of it. I'm just gonna share a little bit of white into here. Not a lot, just a little. I'm just using my chip brush and just brushing it in a little bit. And then I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna share with you a little bit about what's happening tonight and, oh, you got it! Oh, Brenda, welcome! Rosanna says glitter, Angie says glitter. Um, Tammy yells glitter all in caps. <laughs> Henny says, love PPHQ. You'll learn so much. Take advantage of all your resources. Oh, thank you for saying that. Um, so 24 karat gold is one of my favorites. You were right on the money for that, Michelle. And then also my topping of choice is glitter. So my favorite to use is the crystal 
Crystal Twinkles. I have used a lot of glitter at paint parties and I have found that the, the Crystal Twinkles is the best one because you put it on dry paint and it actually dries as long as the paint is dry and then it has this sheen. So see right here how it shines. Yep, y'all got it right. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. So really what I like to do is just let this dry and then pretty much cover the whole thing in glitter. <laughs> All right, so let's wrap up. I'm gonna pick two more winners for Starbucks gift cards. So thank you so much if y'all want to um, go ahead and, and start you know, saying, pick me, pick me. I'll go ahead and pick a couple of y'all. Um, but I wanna recap real quick what's happening tonight. And um, so right now, Paint Party Headquarters is open. We are open for five days, less than five days. Um, the price is $37 a month. We will never have this price offered again, okay? So if you're like, oh my gosh, that's a lot, $37. Think about it. I can teach this paint party, which I have booked. Actually, this painting that I'll be teaching tomorrow, I have already booked, and, and I'm gonna have a lot of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters using this painting to book. Um, you have access to this. You have access to over 100 of my paintings, plus all the marketing that goes with it. Now, here's the cool part is that I'm gonna be teaching this one June 17th. So I use the same stuff that I'm sharing with you. It's not like I'm just like throwing you paintings to give you paintings, no. I carefully design these for things that will be on trend for your paintings. So the paint parties, I have two paint parties on June 17th, one in the morning, well around one o'clock, and then one at six o'clock. I've already pre-sold eight of these. I'm charging $35 a piece. So can somebody do the math eight times 35 and put in the comments? Here's the thing about this. For $37 a month, which again, this will never be this low again, Sheila Smith, you're the winner of the Starbucks. I loved your comment. <laughs> Sheila Smith, email support at texasartandsoul.com. And so what is eight times 35? Let me ask, Alexa, what is eight times 35? Okay, so that's 280 bucks right there. So 280 bucks and you're paying 37 a month. If you just do one party, you like you've paid for several months. So here's how it works. We have either a yearly payment, which we'll talk a lot about this and um, tonight after the free training. We have a yearly which comes out once a year and you get a free month. So if you're like, I am all in. I want to learn this. I want to, you know, invest in myself and do a really great job and and really try it because it takes time, right? You can't just go, I'm going to start a business and and overnight it happens, right? We still have to learn. We have to to grow all of those good things. It's Craft Twinkles and it's Crystal. Those are my my favorite. And um, we have to grow. You know, so many times I see people that join Paint Party Headquarters or they get really excited and then they're like, oh my gosh, I hit a snag or oh, I had something happen or oh my gosh, it's never gonna work, right? Y'all, I still at this time have paint parties that get canceled. That's a part of a paint party business. That's a part of it. Remember, I tell you this all the time, failure is just as much a part of success. You have to have both in order for it to grow. So, um, so I'm excited to help you, to teach you. Again, you can either join monthly, you can cancel at any time. If you do join yearly, you get that discount of a whole month free. So then you're, you're committed to a year. And then after a year, you can renew, it'll renew automatically once a year at that price. Here's the greatest news. We will never have this $37 price again. Next week, I am having my virtual assistant change the price so when we open the doors again in September, that price is going to be higher. We will never have this price again. So I am excited for all of y'all that are coming in um, to do that. Oh, Tammy, you're so funny. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick one more winner. And then those of y'all that want to join Paint Party Headquarters, the link is in the description or text the word join or type the word join, <laughs> but the link is in the description. Those of you that need a little bit more information, I'm gonna be live again at 7 p.m. Central. You can register to be a part of it. When you get that email, it immediately sends you an email, reply back with your questions, and I am going to share your question and answer your question tonight at 7 p.m. Okay, the last winner for the $10 Starbucks gift card is, da -da -da -da, drum roll! Drum roll! Are y'all drum rolling? 
the yearly price is 37 times 11. Alexa, what is 37 times 11? 37 times 11 is 407. It's 407 because you get one month free. So you're committing to a year, you're going all in, and you're, you're one month free for doing that. And Camilla, hopefully that helped you. All right, so you can click on the link too, and it's going to tell you all the things you get as well. Okay, the next winner is, drum roll please, Brenda Lawrence. Brenda Lawrence, you are the next winner. Congratulations for the Starbucks. Okay, Brenda Lawrence, go ahead and email me at support at texasartandsoul.com. And then all of y'all that want to join tonight for the free webinar and you're still like, maybe, not really sure, but I need more information, I would love to help you out. We're gonna give you a ton. I'm actually going to be teaching setup, breakdown, hired help, supplies, um, event highlights, event struggles, so many different things about a paint party business. I'll be sharing a little bit about my story as well. And then we'll be sharing exactly what you get step-by-step -step in Paint Party Headquarters. And I can't wait. All right, I'll see you at 7 p.m. tonight. And for all of y'all that have already joined, welcome. We're very, very excited to share with you so much. So get ready for this Paint Party adventure. All right, I'll see y'all soon. Hopefully this will not fall on me. Yee. I try to sound professional, but really, y'all, it's not.